Welcome CSE 103 class to Circles Function and this is assignment 14 in the spring of 2018 so in case this number changes I won't record a new video but it might have a different number. Uh, this is the finished product let me run it here here's a finished product it's gonna make nine circles when you're done and they're gonna make them all different colors we're not doing random colors we're gonna actually put in the colors that they're gonna make them so so they are going to be colors that you'll indicate and you'll indicate the size and we're just going to kind of use a function so that we can make them we're basically the creation of the circle like we did in the previous exercise the circle input happens once and then it's going to get repeated by running the function eight other times so we're going to run the function eight times and we're just going to change you can see what we're changing here we're changing the color we're changing the the start point of the x and changing the y in some in some cases the they'll all be on the same X and in some cases when you make your new row they'll be on a separate on a separate Y so we'll have to do that so so we're gonna do that and and again we're doing it by just making a whole bunch of repeating the function there's other ways to do that to make it a little more efficient but for now uh, first time working with a function we're gonna do that now one thing just to point out we're gonna define a function up here and call it draw circle we're gonna give it some arguments so that they're kind of they're almost like variables for a function so that you could basically when you run the function you could put in whatever arguments you want so when we draw the circle we're gonna say okay for color use pink for the start X use 0 and for the start Y use size times 3 or whatever whatever we're gonna do with that as far as the position that's how we're, we're kind of using it to position them away from each other a little bit so you could use we could use different ways you can add things to the right or left or you could multiply we'll see how it goes when we, when we actually go through and do it but basically these arguments are getting plugged into the function when it's called so when the function is called it's using whatever you want to put in there for the for for these three kind of arguments for the color for the start x and for the start y and again we're using start x and start y because we're creating our own up here you could just use x and y but we're going to create a start x and start y because that way we can adjust it a little bit when we make our circles because we're still going to use that kind of circle formula from from the last exercise the previous exercise so and we're going to be able to use some of this code so you're going to to get this started and we're also going to do a background color too so what you're going to do is you're going to go here and there are instructions here this is page two of the one with exercise 13 so there are instructions here and it says duplicate the circles and call it 14 circles function and then we're going to set the size back to 50 and kind of reset some things here and this is the finished product one of the finished products so I'm going to go back here and you can duplicate the one you already did 13 circle input and I'm going to duplicate it and I'll call it 14 circles I'll put circles because this is multiple ones and I'll put function and I'll leave the V there because I'm recording it as a video as far as our variables I'm just going to reset my size to 50. We won't use an input for this one. And I don't need this. And I'm going to leave this size div equal size divided by 2. That way, because it uses the radius to make the size. So that way, that way when you put in size, it's just visually kind of, it's, it's a little more kind of accurate as far as what you may be thinking it should show up as. Instead of thinking in half, this calculation cuts it in half. So, and then start X, it'll start in the middle. And start Y, it should do, at least initially, it, it'll go down half the size and put it in the middle. This start Y is going to change uh, eventually. In matter of fact, I think I'm just going to put it at zero right now, just to make it less confusing. So I'll start Y at zero. Color, and we'll we'll just put. Um, we're actually I don't think we're going to do a color because I think we're gonna we're going to be changing that with arguments. So let me let me take color out of there. I don't think we're going to do that. And then we're not going to use Tommy. We're going to use turtle now how would you have to change these are all going to be called turtle um, instead of Tommy now one thing you can do you could highlight this and if you hold down control if you're on Windows or command if you're on Mac and double click on each Tommy I still have my control key down now they're all highlighted now I can type turtle and it'll replace all of them at once so now it's just turtle. Now I don't need to instantiate a turtle because we, we don't need to do that. It's a general turtle. This is this is going to be part of a function. So we're going to call a function. Remember, we already did this, and I'll get rid of these print things for now. We don't need those. And what I'm going to do, and it's looking for color here, so I'm going to have to get rid of I'm going to have to get rid of that, or I'll well, I'll leave that for now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to define a function, and it's going to have all this stuff in it. 
So above here, I'm just going to say def, and I'm going to give a function name, and I'm just going to say draw circle. We'll do that. You can give it any kind of name. You can give it any kind of name. Just don't make sure there's no space in there. Make sure you don't start with a number. And then, you know, you could put them together and put a capital C. You could, if you wanted to do something like this, they do that in JavaScript a lot with these kind of camel case. But I'm going to use underscore C because they seem to do that when they use begin fill and end fill and things like that. So we're going to keep it all lowercase because that's the way Python in the turtle module seems to work. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to call it draw circle. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put parentheses here. And then I'll put a colon after it. And to make a function, to make sure that these things are part of the function, in order to be a part of it, in some cases you use uh, curly brackets in some languages, but we're actually going to indent. Python wants an indent. So all these things are going to have to be indented, and that basically makes sure that they're part of that function. The two things are part of it. The one is the colon. The second is the indent. So we're going to make sure that's a part of it there. And it's still looking for color here, so we're going to have to change that. So what I'll do is I'll put color as an argument. I could just put color up here and then put a comma and then put a start x and a start y because that's the only thing that's going to change each time. We're putting arguments because every time we run this function, they're going to change. We don't want it running in the same place in the same color every time. What's going to change is the color. Remember this one. We don't want them in the same place. They're going to change initially. They're going to change their x because they're going to make one row. You're going to make one row first and then you're going to make other rows, one above and one below, or however you do that. But what's going to change is the color, and what's going to change is one of the x's or one of the y's. Those are the only things that are changing, and size too, but we're going to make them all the same size. So size can be kind of hardwired in here as a variable. So I'll start off with 50 up here. And these are our arguments, so that every time we, we create a function or call a function, it's, we're going to have to put in what we want for this. And it's saying, hey, when you do, the color is going to be whatever you say. Uh, the start x, start y is going to be whatever you say. The start y is going to be whatever you say. So whatever we put in there, and we're going to have to change it because they start off with 0. The first one's going to be 0, so we're going to have to change these start x and start y's. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to call the function. So I'm going to just hit an extra space here and make sure I outdent or go back to the margin. And I'm going to call the function by going draw circle. And I have to call it the same exact name. And then what I have to do is I have to put parameters in here or arguments. And for color, I'll just say red. I'll start with red. And then since these use commas, you, they, they match up. So the first, second, and third match up. So I'm going to put a comma. And my start x is going to be, I guess it's just going to be start x. I think I could just leave it at start x. So the first one's going to be 0. And then the next one is going to be my start y is going to be, I guess, 0. So they're going to be 0. You could plug in 0 and 0, or you could use those. They're the same thing. So let me see what happens with that so far. So that should run a function that basically creates a turtle and does all this stuff. So let me save this. And let's see if this is working so far. And it's going to be 50. So let's try it out. Now, we didn't. the only color we put in here is red. These should stay 0 and 0. So it made a circle in the center. All right, so, so let's do another. Let's do two more. We're going to do one on the right and one on the left. I'm going to copy this two more times. And I'm actually, so it goes in order. I'm actually going to do the one on the left first, then the center one. So I'm going to leave this one. And I'm even going to put a comment here and put centered, center circle. So I know that's the center one. I don't have to put the left and right, but I'll know that's, that's the center. So the one on the left, I'm going to make this one green. I'll do like RGB. And then the first one will be red. And then the third one will be blue. I'll do it that way. So the first one's going to be red, and it's going to be over here. So I'm going to keep their y's the same. So I'm going to make their x kind of minus. And now you can do it whatever. If I did it minus 50, you know, let, let's just try. Let's try it minus size and just see what happens here. It's, you know, to, it, it, we want to kind of move it over. So we want to have the one on the left be a negative number. So it should be, I'll do, I, I, I couldn't figure out what was happening. So let me do start x, and I'll do plus 100 see if that works and then I'll do start x minus 100 and see if that works and now that's working here so anyway now it seems to be working there's my red green and blue and you, you know you could adjust it how much we want 
You could even put a, you know, a variation on size so that if you make them bigger, this changes because right now they're always going to be, you know, whenever you use an absolute value like 100, they're always going to be the same no matter how big or small you make them. All right, so that, that's three. So we're going to make a new row here. So let's make a new row. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to say, I'm going to call this middle row. And I'll even just put a, a comment here and call it middle row. And there's my middle row. And then I'll put a top row above it. So let's see what happens. I'll put a, I'll call this top row. And what am I going to do with top row? Well, I'm not going to make it red, green, and blue. I'll make it magenta, cyan, and teal. How about that? I'll make three new colors here. Now, the start X could be the same. Actually, the start X's will be the same because I, I want them on the same X's. What's going to change on the top row is going to be the Y's. They'll all, they'll all have to be the same. So we'll do plus 100, plus 100, and then plus 100. So this whole row is going to go up 100. So the top row, so the, the X's should be the same. They should start at the same place, 1 to the 100 to the left, 1 100 to the right. So let's see what happens. All right, there's, there's my first row. There's my second row. That's kind of what I want. Now, I saw the turtle going, and that's okay. Now, to make the third row, this should be the last row should be easier. So I'm going to copy the top one and paste it, and I'll call it bottom. Now, what's going to change on this is they're going to go down 100. And I'll put minuses here. So the Ys are going to go down 100. Now, if I do this, there's my top row. And, and if it's going real slow and you're testing it out and you're like, well, I don't have all day to watch this, Remember, you could you could put this right in your function, and you could put turtle dot speed, and put a speed of like a hundred and see what happens. It goes really quick. Let's try it. And depending where you put it, you could put it right at the beginning. Then it'll, it'll go even faster. So if you put this at the end, it goes a little slower. Make sure you go right at the beginning before it goes to anywhere. If you put it here, it'll like go really quick. So now it's making my three rows. Now my bottom rows, I went different colors. So I'll make, I'll make gold, maroon, and maybe I'll make a gray. Let's see if those colors exist. If not, they'll be black. So there's my, there's my colors, all different colors. There's green. That's teal. So that's what I want, and that's really all that you need to do. Again, you can adjust the positioning of things by using kind of multiplying start x by the size, you know, so that if you change the size, if I made these 100, they're going to be closer together. Which which is okay. It's not a big deal right now. But but you can make those things adjust kind of be variable on the variable. So you could you could use multiplication instead of using an absolute number in here so that when you change the size, those things change too. But let's not worry about that right now. Let's put it back at 50. And we'll just start there for now. If you want to try out other things, be my guest to do that. I'm not going to go through all that. Uh, but one other thing I want to do here is put a background color. And one thing I'll do here, I'll make a variable, and I'll just call it wind, WN for window. And I think it's just called turtle. And you probably saw this pop up before, dot screen. And if you saw turtle dot screen pop up, that's using a class of screen from the turtle module. Just like we use the turtle, the turtle class, we're going to use the screen class. And what we'll do is we'll put wn dot, and I think it's, wait, I think it came up here, b, it's bg color, bg color, and then in parentheses, you can put an RGB color, you could put anything that you want in here. And, and what I'll do is I'll put, I'll, I'll try this, just to show you something different, I'm going to do RGBA. And in parentheses, I'm going to do, I'll make it kind of a pinky color. So I'll do 255, which is red. And I'll do a comma. And I'll do maybe 240, 240. And then I'll do 0.5, which is, 0.5 is kind of going, it's a translucent, it's alpha. So if you go from 0 to 1, 0.5 is like 50%. And it's, it's telling me... Well, you still have to put this whole thing in quotes. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm doing RGBA in parentheses, putting four values because I have an A, which is for alpha. And I'm still putting the whole thing in quotes. And let's see what happens here. 
there, it's kind of a pinky color. And if you want it darker, I'll do like 0.8. There, it's a darker pinky color. And I can ha even have these things down more. I'll make these like 200. Now it's more of kind of a pinky color. And so, so that, again, that's using the screen class, and I used a BG color, and that's just a variable. So WN, just like you use a turtle, WN dot BG color, and I'm using RGBA. You know what RGB colors are, and it just adds one more property of the alpha that you can do. And again, it's it's either zero through, and if it was zero here, it would you wouldn't see it. So if I did zero here and I ran it, it would just look transparent because that would be transparent. Or if I did 0.5, it would be 0.5 of whatever color I have. So you can kind of adjust. And what's nice too is you could do that with turtles or shapes. You can make them kind of semi-transparent. So that's all you need to do with this exercise. There's, you know, you could certainly mess around with these and, and try different calculations. But if, but if you're new to this, just get it to work like that. Just use the 50 and get it to work like that and get the three functions. Um, and actually there's nine functions altogether that are being called from the one original function that we created. And remember, these things are arguments, color, start X, start Y. They're kind of arguments that we're changing every time so we can run a function and then change little things about them. So we have variables, we have arguments, and then we have function calls that are running this one function here. So that's circles function.